Hi Pisces and welcome to my channel The Guided Intuitive. Welcome to your love read for the second half of July 2022. Uh, I'm getting these out as soon as I can guys. I just have you and one other person left to get out uh, in terms of my reads. I've had some like internet issues so it's been very off and on and sporadic just uh, the past two or three days. Very weird okay what's going on <laughs> right so uh let me go ahead and get this out for you here this is going to be a read a love read uh for those of you who are a single couple those who have yet to meet someone uh you might find elements on one side versus another okay i'll pull i'll pull a few more cards uh for uh singles near the end so if you're interested in that definitely stay tuned all right so let's jump in and see what's going uh, on for your love read all right what's going on uh, let's take a look for Pisces. I hope you all are doing well. Let's jump into it. Okay. What do we have? Um, let me put this aside. I know I won't use that again. Ooh, ooh, ooh. This is so cool. Wide open. Ooh, some of you might be ultimate manifestors. Something's coming through. You know, this tells me that there's a lot of opportunities coming through here. It also indicates sixth house reduces to a six and, uh, that has to do with uh, self-improvement, all right? So a lot of self-improvement things. It, it could also have to do with employment, you know, as well, guys. But the card is called Wide Open, right? So this is saying, like, you know, looking at all the opportunities that are coming your way. This indicates there are opportunities and that there are, um, that you're able to manifest those dreams that you have been wanting to manifest to bring them to fruition, right? So this is saying is that, you know, all, all, this is about an opportunity that, uh, um, you, that everything is possible right now. Uh, allow for that, that, that greater version of you to, to open up and shine through and know that your opportunities are right before you, right? Uh, this is, uh, you know, replacing old ideas for new ideas and, it may be an old dream for a much grander, um, you know, type of vision and dream for yourself. So it wants you to dream big, okay? It doesn't want you to, it just, it, it's like revisiting the dream that you had. Are there adjustments that need to be made? And then, uh, you know, really focusing in on that, okay? So expand your horizon, all right? Um, if there's, you know, in limitations, you know, this is basically saying is that, um, uh, whatever it is that you are, are wanting to do, the world wants to hear it. This is like, it's summoning you to move, right? So, Hey, it's, it's what's coming through. It's birthing something new with a, with a number six as well. So let's take a look at, um, a numerology card and, uh, see, uh, what else might want to shine through for Pisces on this. Okay. But this is, that's powerful guys. That's an opportunity for something as it's, it's be open, uh, you know, forget your limit, uh, your limited, uh, you know, your, you know, this is moving beyond your limitations, right? Like old belief systems, like make it a little bigger than that. Make it bigger than it was before. Okay. Because there is a little bit of an update to that. Okay. So, uh, Hey, it's what I'm getting. What else do I get? Yeah. Look at It's a new beginning, right? So in a new beginning, you have to revisit a few things in terms of making this, uh, uh, new beginning even better, right? Than the last new beginning, right? So that's what this is saying, okay? So when you focus on the past, it limits you, but when you focus on the future, um, it, it brings in opportunities, right? So or when you focus on the now, it brings in opportunities. Um, so this is just really basic where, you know, really said, you know, keep your vibration high, keep that vibration high. Um, but new, new beginnings is coming through. Let's take a look at your read real quick. And let's uh, take a look at what's coming up for Pisces. What do we have? Um, so what do we have? The Empress energy. Uh, we have the 10 of swords. All right. Uh, getting rid of something. And then we've got the high priestess uh, card. What's at the bottom of the deck? Knight of wands. Oh, this is passion. This is moving forward. Adventure, right? Uh, this could be lust. This is fire energy. So this could be moving towards your passions. Maybe you've got someone that is on your mind. Um, I kind of feel for most of you, like this could be you carrying on that empress energy, like focusing on your feminine nature and really loving yourself and, and putting, a, and, and this is like beauty. This is a, 
Um, this is all about, you know, uh, value, knowing your worth. And this is putting a, a, an end to any sort of strife or any sort of, uh, you know, old way of thinking of the past, right? This is usually talks about anxiety and uh, a little bit of despair that's keeping you up. But I, I like it because it's a 10 and it's an ending with a new beginning, right? And that plays right into your read Pisces. And then we got the high priestess energy, using your intuition to manifest and bring about what you want to see on this earth. And, and uh, you know, the high priestess energy and the empress, those are two major arcanas, especially coming in sandwiched, um, you know, with this ten of swords sandwiched in between. We know that this is is, is on its way out. Uh, for a lot of you, it's already out. For those of you, you're, 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 it's processing at this moment. So, wow, that's pretty darn cool, guys. Anything else that's coming out for Pisces? What, anything else? Eight of Swords. Yeah, this is getting out of a limited, uh, perhaps, way of thinking. Um, Eight of Swords talks about, uh, you know, this is just like uh, maybe in isolation. Uh, maybe you've been spending a lot of time at home or looking at something in terms of one way of, of one, situ one side of a situation. Um, but it, 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 this is seen is that those were limitations. Now you have a brand new beginning and this is about being wide open. Okay. So this is all playing into it. So in your love life, it looks like, you know, being open to opportunities, um, because there's going to be plenty of them coming towards you. Uh, we'll get a little bit more into this. Um, let's pull a few love, uh, Oracle cards and see what's coming through. But this is your, you're changing, you're using your intuition to kind of be your GPS, right? And, and you're focusing on you, your beauty and your value, and you're letting go of that of which that uh, maybe kept you a little bit um, in some negative energy, right? Uh, in terms of that 10 of swords, uh, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. Okay. I got a lot of air energy, Libra energy as well. Uh, yeah, this is, maybe things are moving slower than you anticipated, but this is saying is that there's going to be some sort of communication coming through, uh, texts, uh, you know, conversations, phone calls, uh, this could be the case. So this is saying communicate, right? If something's going slower, you know, maybe in a situation, express your feelings and communicate is what is coming through here. Okay. Uh, yeah. And maybe it's time to kind of make adjustments in your life, right? Adjustments. So it's like adjusting to a new way of manifesting, a new way of, of a grandeur vision for yourself uh, because of this new beginning, okay? So this is asking source for help in the process, especially with the high priestess energy. So something might need to be readjusted and rebalanced a little bit here, all right? Let's take a look at anything else coming out for Pisces. What do we have in uh, the second half of July? What do we get? Loyalty. Someone wants to be supportive and there is someone around you that truly has your best interests at heart. So I think when I say that, guys, you're going to know who it is that's around your vicinity. Um, even if you're not dating, there's someone around you that perhaps um, is very supportive. And uh, if you're questioning, you know, their loyalty, this is saying is that someone does have your best interest at heart, but you're going to know who that is, right? Using intuitive, you know, like your, your high priestess energy, you're going to tap into that and know you know, uh, uh, who that is for you. Um, and, and what else do I get? Addictive behaviors are impacting this partnership. So this could either be on your side or the other person's side. There could be some sort of addiction. Let me pull a card on the shadow side and we'll see what the shadow cards want to pop up and, and see if there's anything else. But again, I guess it, it could be just a, 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 a something that you're working on, something that you're overcoming a belief, uh, or it could be the other person as well. So, um, you know, keep an open mind in terms of what that is. But I got resisting change. Uh, this is saying, um, you know, look at the positive side of change is what this wants to, uh, wants to bring about. Um, and it wants you to perhaps ask yourself, if you don't see change as being positive, this is saying, ask yourself, um, you know, uh, why you are not wanting to change. Sometimes if we just look at something in a different way, we get the answer that we need, right? Sometimes we don't know what we want, but a lot of us know what maybe uh, in terms of our love life, what we don't want, right? So it's just kind of looking at it that way, you go, you, you kind of get what I'm saying, guys. But it's, so it's, it could be that someone's resisting change in this connection, all right? 
uh, or this someone that you're thinking of, or this could be you. All right. Let's take a look on this other person on the other side. Anything else? We got the tower card. So something unexpected and unavoidable um, had happened, had kind of come down for this person. And this has them putting in the effort uh, uh, and doing their day-to-day -day work so they could get some sort of stability. So let me show this to you. So we've got the tower card. Okay. And that's unexpected and unavoidable, a uh, major arcana card. But this has them put in motion. Because of that, they are working hard and doing the everyday things that are necessary to get things going on and, and to make things stable so they could continue with success and, and build a strong foundation. So something, um, something uh, you know, uh, something came and uh, has this person, you know, focusing on their work and their stability right now. Uh, anything else? Carapont energy. Could be dealing with the Taurus. But they're focused on, on their passions, their values, their, their core values on how they want to move forward in life. And they're revisiting that so they're able to move forward better. And uh, it could be a, uh, you know, a, a solid wreath of, you know, a, a solid foundation and a wreath of success here. Uh, pinnacle energy. Uh, we've got a lot of earth energy that's coming out here. But it's interesting. Two major arcanas out of the four cards. Now three major arcana. And this is about a, new, a renewed sense of energy. So this person has renewed energy and passion towards what it is that they're doing. Um, anything else that wants to come through? I must equate this. They could have Leo in their chart as well. Uh, come the sun card is uh, kind of ruled by Leo. They might have Leo in their chart. Uh, anything else that might want to come through? What do we get? Yeah, maybe they were misguided around down the wrong path that wasn't for their greater good. And what they're doing is they're asking the divine, um, you know, for assistance um, and patience in a situation. So I get misguided um, and maybe they were misguided in their life that uh, brought them down a wrong path and they're course correcting right now in their life. And what they're doing is they're having patience with themselves and they understand that divine timing is key. Now, when this card comes up, it's saying divine timing um, is essential during this waiting period. So there is some sort of divine timing around this. Uh, let's take a look at anything more for this other person. All right. What do we have? Uh, music. All right. This person really loves music and uh, it could be that this person is in the music industry or they soothe their soul to, you know, through music. Uh, that could be the case. Uh, and uh, I get affectionate, uh, lovey-dovey. All right. So this is about, um, they've got a lot of affection to share and it looks like they've got, you know, they, they're very, um, I don't know. I feel like music reminds them of you. <laughs> just want to make sure I said that right but that's what I'm getting all right anything else oh, oh look at this right when I pull that card guys is that like totally perfect or what <laughs> right it's like thinking of you I knew it I could just feel it I just knew what I was I was feeling your guys's collective energy uh, so thank you guys so this is about like getting out of their head and they focus on music and that music reminds them of you. Okay. So, wow. All right. Let's take a look at any more information that wants to come through for Pisces. Any other information before um, we exit out here? Eight of Pentacles. It could be Pisces that you're getting more engagement and maybe that um, you are focusing on more engagement in your love life or that you are realizing that in a partnership and in love, that more engagement is going to be necessary to have love grow, right? So this is about you uh, doing that because I get the Eight of Pentacles, which is change, is necessary. And then I get um, the Eight of Pentacles talks about engagement. It could talk about, um, I don't know, like more education. And so I feel that you could be getting more education in terms of how to bring in more engagement to the Ten of Cups. All right, uh, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, right? You might be dealing with someone who has water in their chart as well. But in order to get the love and the bliss that you're looking for and emotional, you know, bliss and, uh, and that type of thing, it's about engaging more, get more information. I think that's going to really help as well. Um, and uh, anything else that might want to come through here? Let's take a look. Anything else uh, for Pisces? What do we get? This person could be someone that you might consider your best friend, okay? I'm just going to let you know it's coming through here. Um, and maybe that in this connection or the person that you have in mind, 
you may not be sure if you can live up to their, like you're unsure whether you can live up to their expectations. But that will be just you focusing in on that, okay? Because I really feel that that's just kind of getting down in your shadow side is what the card talks about, all right? Uh, anything else? Um, maybe you feel that you might, you might have had some uh, connection with this person in terms of uh, maybe some sort of disagreement and maybe that has caused some sort of obstacles. And that might make you feel that at times, hey, maybe we're from two different worlds and that's why we might disagree and uh, argue, you know, a lot or, or at times here. But um, what this is saying, what's necessary as I pull the argument cards, we're going to focus in on that. See how I like to go deep and just go right into the situation that comes up in the card. Uh, and hopefully this will help you guys. All right. Um, let's take a look. What do we get? Uh, empathy. This is asking that when you feel that way, like that you're from different worlds, that's why you might disagree and, uh, you know, and fight is what the card says. It says empathy, putting yourself in your partner's shoes and being aware of their perspective. It wants you to remember that. Okay. So this is a cool thing. This is a good, really love message to keep in mind. Um, you know, and, and gosh, for everyone really. Right. So, but, but that's what I'm getting there powerful guys i will call call um call go ahead and, and, and see if i can pull an angel card as well anything else so empathy is going to really help you um and i think it's going to help the connection as well all right yeah let your friends help you ask for more support and help from others you know and i think that that's why we got that education and engagement like you know others around you that can help you uh, create change and bring more bliss and love into your life. All right. So that's what I'm getting. Uh, anything further for this other person on the other side? Let's take a look. Uh, what do we have? Nine of swords. They're putting like you an end. You got the 10 of swords. This person got the nine of swords. There's a little bit of mirroring in terms of, uh, of something here, but there is a completion that they're putting something to an end. Again, staying up at night, uh, being worried, you know, anxiety. And this is the world card right after that. That tells me that this person is putting that to rest. Uh, it's putting that to rest, right? It's a completion and a successful completion. The nines are coming to fruition, okay? And nines have to do with their search for meaning in life and in their journey. It's part of their, their learning. So this is powerful because you both are kind of, you know, at that point there, all right? Let's take a look at anything further um, for this other person uh, that might want to come through. What do we get? Um, let's take a look at anything else. Yeah, there's been, you know, I get a little bit of chaos and, and trauma, you know, a little bit of, of, of arguments that are coming through here. Whoa. All right, let's take a look um, at this other person. What do we get? Oh, what do we get here? I feel your presence every day. So this person feels your presence. The, what's been causing chaos for them is that anxiety of this, right? I, I think that this was the main thing, uh, you know, that, that was causing a lot of chaos in, in, uh, in that type of thing. But this person does feel your presence every day. To illuminate the trauma, you know, drama or fighting and arguments of this card because it kind of showed up here. Let me pull an, an, um, an argument card to see what's going to, uh, you know, uh, bring ease to the situation what can help for this person on their side it's okay to lose this argument relax chill let love win right guys let love win hell yeah guys that's what's coming through so cross watch is what coming through this is what can really help you know breach the gap of any sort of tension that's coming through it's learning how to communicate better and we learn that by relationships right so this is what I'm getting. It's okay to lose this argument. This person doesn't always have to be right. Relax, chill, let love win. Yeah, it's, it's so true. Um, so let's take a look at anything that wants to come through for them on their side. What do we get? Reconciliation. Oh my gosh, you guys. You know, it comes out, it comes out here. Uh, it's someone from your past is returning into your life. Okay. So it's on this person's side. You might be returning from someone that you really want. Okay. This could be the case, or this could be someone in their life that is returning towards them. That could very much, uh, well be the case as well. Okay. Wow. Okay. So, um, I'm going to leave it right there, guys. I hope this resonated with you. Note your comments. I'm going to pull a few cards, 
Uh, I'm not going to do an extended on this one. I'm going to get the rest of the reads out. So what I'm going to do is pull a, car, a few cards for singles. And let's go ahead and do that real quick. A few cards for singles. For, for singles, I got you, you're going through a little bit of a wobble right now. You're getting used to new energy. Um, this is being, you know, flexible and adaptable. Um, you know, kind of taking on some earth energy and kind of balancing things out after some sort of obstacle, almost between two people, okay, is what I get, observing an obstacle between two people in a, any sort of disagreement and strife that is keeping two people from flying high, you know what I mean? So I feel that in, in for you, it's about adapting to new energy and getting used to how you want to move forward in love, okay? Give us some more advice for singles, uh, Pis Pisces singles, what we get? Music. This is coming up in, in uh, your, your read here. So maybe some of you are involved in music. You write music. Maybe you sing. Maybe you play an instrument. Maybe you uh, um, are just, I don't know, you mix music. Whatever the case may be, um, this is going to be very key. Um, using music in terms of adversity at times. This reduces to a five and at times a conflict that it helps you uh, heal and gives you more confidence and calms your emotions because this is sacral chakra energy. All right. So that's what I'm getting there. Uh, anything else? Um, who's coming towards uh, Pisces singles? All right. What, how will this person, uh, who's coming towards Pisces singles? Let's just take a look at that first. Um, this could be someone that, um, let's one, let me take a look. Someone that's super sweet. Someone's got away with words. Someone's got away with words. All right. Uh, they're very kind. They're very charming. They're very sweet. Um, and uh, so this is saying is that they're honest. They're not superficial. They're honest. All right. This is how you're going to even know this person. They are, they, they, they come across not superficial. They're actually very sweet, kind, and, uh, and, and very, very charming as well. Okay. Um, but they, it, it's, they're, they don't like superficial stuff. They don't like superficial expressions. This person doesn't like that. All right. What else? Um, could be an opportunity with a, a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Someone's got uh, air in their chart. This is someone that wants victory out of the situation. All right. They want an opportunity. All right. They want clarity. All right. They like to, they focus on clarity. They like that. All right. And then someone who's fair and balanced, someone, you know, justice. All right. Um, the justice card comes through here and this is, uh, yeah, it's like an opportunity for, um, uh, you know, balancing things out. This is, they want, they're fair. They're fair in a situation. Libra energy. Okay. Uh, and anything else help Pisces will know that the next person that's coming towards Pisces, who do we get? Two of Wands. This person wants to make progress. They want to make progress and discover each other and get to know each other and move up the kind of like the stairs. It's like, you know, elevating, right? Elevating, supporting that, helping each other grow. That's what's coming through here. So that's how you're going to know, okay? Anything else Pisces needs to know before we exit out? What do we got? What do we got? Uh, this is about codependency. So this is about watching the codependency factor and focusing and making sure both sides are interdependent and not any sort of codependency and be able to catch it if, if it comes through because it's coming through here. Uh, this is about addictions that are affecting the romantic life, all right? So this could be you or another person. I get codependency here, guys. So take a look at that. It's something that's coming through. Um, but there you have it. I'm going to leave it there, guys. At the end of the horn there, it's right there. So sending you tons of love and light. Note your comments. Smash that like button, guys. And let me know how this resonates with you. And I look forward to seeing you next time. Namaste.